this historic moment but what does this mean for us what does this mean for our country let's break it down for us radhika daga a scholar a writer and analyst from the vif also with us radhika help us understand really in layman's term what does this mean for india chandrayaan 3 the success of the mission okay so firstly i think the entire nation is so proud because it's a feeling of a great comeback after chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 2 was actually used as a stepping stone by isro and uh, for most of us who are not aware chandrayaan 2 has been uh, orbiting around the moon and it has sent about more than 70000 visuals from the moon and that data has helped us feed the chandrayaan 3 mission and make it a success uh moreover right. uh apart from the success of this mission i think chandrayaan 3 is very important for the global scientific community and it's going to contribute to the entire humanity who's aiming to go to space and utilize those resources well absolutely so it's going to be a momentous moment not just for india but for the entire world i think it's very well put by you prakar if you could come in here you know as a senior editor uh, sir uh, you know help us understand really what it means when we speak of atmanirbhar bharat because uh, when we speak of this mission chandrayaan 3 india has shown the world the way one when it comes to cost effectiveness and secondly it's a big message as far as making india's concerned isn't it sir absolutely because uh, uh, you know i remember growing up in the 90s uh, the the only inspiration that i has had had a kid kid you know going growing up in the 90s was uh, buzz aldrin uh, who had lent his name to buzz lightyear and he was an inspiration for my generation now if uh, you know when we make a successful soft landing on the lunar surface today late, later today uh, the generations the the people the kids that were on the screen a few minutes back will have something much more closer to home to look up to and to get inspired by so this this moment is is truly momental it it will inspire an entire generation of of scientists and and uh, kids who are going to take up the reins in the next uh, decade or two it, it it is a great moment for the scientific community as was said before of course it's a great deal for india's ambitions also uh, we must not forget that uh, this could mean great uh this will mean a great deal for the for uh, humanity's uh, efforts to reach out uh, further into space because uh if if we are right about the presence of lunar uh, water ice on the craters uh right. we may actually be able to uh, harness it for fuel and uh, then moon could become a pit stop for further travel into space deeper space for example absolutely sir uh, and it's mass. going to as you rightly yeah. said uh, pave the way for other missions also we have of course gaganyaan also lined up meantime the uh, phone lines the numbers there have been constantly buzzing and our viewers were already watching the broadcast live they can also share their views live and we can take uh, their wishes their best wishes to the scientists who have been working so hard and non stop to make this mission a success i'm told uh, joining us here on the broadcast is rajan from bengaluru and e shankar from kolkata rajan good morning what do you have to say Good morning. I'm going to take the request, the proverbial 30 seconds from Dr. Anand Nandanandan on your panel. Two things. One is the journey is as exciting as reaching the destination. So the kind of morale we see is just fantastic, and all the best to all our scientists who have never, never given up. And on a much more very serious note, mm. you know, till the early 40s, <clears throat> many of us thought that the moon was just a star, and we have to credit Nehru ji because when he calculated the escape velocity of jupiter which rahul gandhi later used he discovered that the moon is a satellite and that made the way for isro so we need right. to thank nehru ji also thank you all right thank you rajan for your best wishes to our scientists there of course they have been working non stop in such a short span of time we are looking at another launch that has taken place e shankar joining us from kolkata yes sir what do you have to say good morning and i am i am much excited for the moment the glorious moment and i hope the india uh, history will be written in uh, golden letters but my main problem is that uh, it should not be politicized hmm. the credit should be given exclusively to our scientists those who are really has done the incredible job and happy pure for india thank you thank you very much mr shankar that is the spirit as we talk about a scientist there and the hard work that has gone down gradually uh, radhika if you can also help us understand especially when the touchdown happens at almost zero speed now that is going to be the moment when the entire control will be in the hands of the lander if we so to say what's going to happen from there on okay so uh, it needs to be noted that this time uh, we talk about the changes between chandrayaan 3 and chandrayaan 2 
So the technical specifications, of course, go much deeper, but uh, we have a contingency plan. So uh, this time around, we have two ways of making communication with the lander and also with the software upgradations. Uh, the speed of data transfer has also been reduced. So this time around, we can make a direct contact with the lander as well as we can make a contact hmm. to the lander through the orbiter of the Chandrayaan-2. So these are the kind of changes that we have, our scientists have implemented, and that's going to ensure that the landing is safe hmm. and it's on point. Of course, it had happened back then when Chandrayaan-2 failed during the soft landing four years ago, but this time around, uh, what we have been hearing also from the ISRO chief assuring that even if everything fails, the soft landing will actually take place.